ready for it all at once. <clears throat> Babe, yeah. I already made provisions to refill your beautiful body. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. When and how? You know, I am a gentleman to the core and I know how to properly take care of a woman. Oh, baby, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Miracle does not happen. I remember the first day I met Kunle. Babe, you didn't believe me when I said I already made provisions for your nourishment, did you? No, all fairness. No. Uh -huh. Baby, aren't you eating? No, I already ate mine while you were sleeping. Kunle. Tell me, did you make this? Because it's <laughs> so delicious. Out of this world, I love it. <laughs> Not at all. I order it from the restaurant in the estate. I figure you will be too tired after two rounds to cook anything. Oh, mm. thanks for coming. <laughs> With you. Tell me. After my last relationship with my cheating ex fiance Yes. I never thought I could fall in love again. Hmm. Not to talk of being treated like a princess. Sweetheart. You see, life is full of beautiful surprises from people who have faith in God Almighty. Sure, you're right. Let the food die. I just finished. You know what I'm tired of it. I just finished eating. Babe, what are you doing? Babes, hmm? I just finished eating. Let the food digest hmm? before we go into the third round of our bedmatics escapade, please. <laughs> You have a very dirty mind. Mom, what is the final rest for? Drop them there. I'll get back to you when I'm done with them. Okay. Um, Mom, I'd like to say something. What is it, Bookie? You have made me yourself for quite some time, and I really do understand how it feels to lose your loved one. But sometimes you really have to move on. I really can't remember the last time I saw a smile on your face. Well, thanks for your concern, okay? And. Thanks for looking out for me. I cannot. We all cannot wait to have our tears for your back. I'll get past all of this, I promise. Okay? Thank you. Okay, I shall take my leave now. I'm going to miss you. Oh, should you now miss you more right? Um, <laughs> but the issue at hand is a bit serious. I need to see my mom on the uh, Babe, you know, you know our, our surgery is scheduled for tomorrow, right? Yes. And she needs my emotional support. <laughs> I agree with you, baby. Mm -hmm. You should be there for her. Baby, yeah. take this cash. Use it to get the provisions for your mom and ensure you extend my regards to her. No, no, babes, there's no need for this. You know I have enough money on me, right? Yes, yes, yes. It is my duty to take care of you and everyone close to you. 
I'm only doing my job. Oh, Bensin, you're the best, right? I love you so much. Oh, much? <laughs> Thank you. I'm so grateful, baby. Thank you. <laughs> this is the what? I need to leave like oh. right now. Oh, I miss you, but I have to go. You know, I have to go like this. Okay, baby. <laughs> Hello, princess. I guess you are on your way now. Oh, baby, don't tell me you're not coming anymore. Yes, that's the great news. In all fairness, I have missed your delicious vegetable soups. How long is it going to take you then? I can't wait to see you, dearie. What's the player? Always a player. I am the ladies man. Hey, once a player, always a player. I am the ladies man. I want to be a grandmother. <sighs> and all Kuletons have come up with excuses. Can you imagine that? I can't wait to be a grandmother. You know one thing? Something crossed my mind. What if I match make your daughter Ogechi with my son Kuli? That could cement our long-lasting relationship, you know. I can't wait either. Your own role is just to convince Ogechi to marry Kunle. I will talk to my son. Who may listen to me? Just convince your daughter Ogechi to marry my son Kunle. And the rest, they say, is history. And they will live happily ever after. All right, um... Okay, just do your pass. I will talk again. Make sure you convince her, okay? Mm. <clears throat> this food is delicious. I hope you made the soup in surplus. <laughs> of course I did. I kept some in the freezer for you. That's my girl. You deserve an award in cooking. I hope you know. <laughs> <laughs> I learned cooking from my grandmother way back when we used to get to the village mm. for Christmas celebration. Wait until you test my grandmother's food. Mm, <laughs> sweetheart. I don't know about how's your grandmother vegetable tastes, but this is sumptuous. Nice, darling. Mm. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. Mm, so good. Thank you for making this for me, please. You want some? Hmm? Yeah. Hmm?
five things you love about me. Stop, I don't want to break it. There's always another one in the dish shop. Okay, wait. <laughs> uh, I love the fact that you're caring. I am caring. Hilarious and fun to be with. Mm -hmm. You pay attention to details. Details. And you're a good piece of. Mm. <laughs> I can wait for you to tell me the fifth reason. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to say it. <laughs> hmm? Tell me. You're good in bed. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, welcome. How, how is your day be now? My day was okay. I, I hope the tra uh, traffic no day too much though. What is your concern with my encounter with traffic? Why don't you cut to the chase? What do you want? I, I, I don't even understand the two the, the way they talk about. But the two are the to talk about that. that uh, right and the chase no the inside the this again. James, what the hell do you want? What do you want? Uh, Madam, you know that the, your English is my own. No, the, you know the is straight now. My English is no frustrated like your own. You see, you have nothing sensible to say to me. Next time you stop me like this again, I'll deal with you accordingly. Uh, uh, Madam, Madam, make you no vessel. And they say you call me for my village. You say my papa no well. Even my mama said you know well at all. And they no get the money to buy drought. And so I say make I ask if you go fit to borrow me his more money. And you know that I know if you to leave this company, I make a home robber no enter. So I say, make you borrow me some more money for inside my salary. Make I send them, make we buy a drug. How much do you want? Uh, no, 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 that's 10,000. 10,000 10, only. Madam, thank you, thank you. Thank God will go begin bless you. In fact, everything where you put your hand for this world, you could, you could move where, where. God will go bless you, yeah? All right, you too, Tunde. Let him in, please. Oh. It's a cool lady. <laughs> how are you? Paul, how are you? How's it going today? I am great, and you? <laughs> oh. Superstar, <laughs> how do you do, okay? Sit down, please. Kunle, you didn't come for my mom's sister's birthday. I'm angry with you, bro. Guy, I am sorry. I have a lot on my plate. The annual conference I attended in France clashed with your mom's birthday. I promise I will make it up to her. Kunle, yes. it's so painful you're not there, but trust me, you escape the drama that happens in the party that day. <laughs> Honestly, I don't understand why mothers are like that. See, the other day, at my mom's house, she kept on going on and on about how she wanted to become a grandmother and all of that. You know what? I have not been answering the phone call since then because I know I am running out of excuses to give her. You know, come to think of it, we are not getting any younger. So, our moms are right. Yes, yes, they are right. But you see, for me, mm -hmm. I'm not ready to hang my adventurous boot for women. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Guy, come on, man. Life is too sweet and too beautiful to stick to one woman. One woman. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I agree with you, bro. Nah, you nah, know, nah, nah. I love the feeling of tasting it. Right of you. Pardon my manners, I didn't offer you anything to drink. What do you, uh, what do I get you guys? What do I offer you guys? I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Look, 
I'm fine. I'm, I'm cool. But come, come to think of it, why don't we go clubbing this Friday? I mean, it's been a while we did something like that. No, oh, that's an excellent idea. Uh, well, that's a big thing. Man, I, I can't wait to unleash that craziness <laughs> we used to have back then in these two days. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Man, guys, I have to go. I have an appointment with a client for 4 o'clock, please. Oh I can't wait for our Friday oh, ramping. <laughs> <laughs> These are beautiful. I can't wait to wear them. Yes, they are. Okay, ma. I'll take my leave, please. No, not so soon. Okay, I had a serious discussion with your mom. Did she relate it to you? Yes, ma. Hmm. And what was your response? Ma, Kule is a fine gentleman. I'm sure a lot of women would like to have his attention. Ma, I'm too young to compete over a man. No, you're not going to compete. I want to allay your fears, Ogechi. My son is not in any serious relationship now. In fact, he's not committed to any woman now. He told me that himself when he told me that he couldn't find a decent girl from a decent background to marry. And that is where you come in. You know, your mom and I have been friends way back from our primary school days. And I know her like the back of my palm. And I know you too, Ogechi. Okay, ma. So if I agree to the proposal, Will Kunle agree to? You know it takes two to tango. Yes, I know. Leave that to me. I am Kunle's mother, and he will listen to me. All I need you to say is, yes, I will marry your son. And if you say that, and you do that, I want to assure you that you will never regret marrying my son. Now, what I want you to do for me, is listen to me and we will take the steps together do you know what makes me positive about all this no ma'am i'm curious hmm. the fact that kunle was very fond of you from childhood <laughs> my mom said the same thing too don't worry it will work together we will make it work okay Ma, it's getting late. I have to go. No problem. You see, okay. When you told me you were coming, I brought this for you. Thank you. And I also want to pay your transport fare. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Ma. And you have a blessed evening, okay? Good night, Ma. Bye bye. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. What is the meaning of this display? Um, Madam, it's your birthday, ma. Uh, Madam, it's your birthday now. Today is my birthday. <laughs> now, because you'll be a better person now. So, me and uh, Odon now, who come, he could be a and he will give you a present for in your birthday. Look up. Did I tell you I needed a reminder that today's my birthday? James, I can see you're being overpaid. That is why you had enough money to buy a bottle of wine. Father. I'm sorry, Mal. We never meant to upset you. Oh, no, thank you, Father. Sorry, Mal. Uh, very sorry. I should be the one saying sorry. I'm sorry that I overreacted. I've really not been myself lately. Sorry about that, but this is beautiful. Thank you. Uh, Madam, eh? <laughs> you see, by next year, when you go celebrate your birthday again, eh? Who go even celebrate the cry of a pretty, pretty children for inside this house? Hey. Go, in fact, you go upon the twins, you oh. <laughs> go marry better husband. Amen. 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 Make sure you heed the doctor's advice. No lifting of heavy objects, 
no Gary or Fufu because mother, I know you <laughs> for the next six weeks. Please, mother. Yeah. Uh, and you, brother, please, I beg you, take very good care of mama. You know you're the only man we have in this house. I will. That is my primary assignment as the man of this house. <laughs> oh, so, um, Sandra, yeah. What about the young man you're dating that called me while I was in the hospital? What about him? Mm -hmm. Mama, mm -hmm. from the way he treats me, I think he's crazy in love with me. Oh my. And I love him too. It's <sighs> good. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, well, so, what's with the delay? He's holding down a good job, you have a good job, you love him, and he loves you. What next? Um, well, I intend speaking with him the next time we meet, and I'll keep you posted. Please do, but then, my dear, you know, a woman's life is like a flower. And the more you delay these things, the less are your chances of, you know, settling down. And I wouldn't want that for you. I understand your concern, mother. Okay, so please do extend my regards to him concerning the money he sent to me with me while I was in the hospital. Please do thank him for me. I will. Ah, okay, James. Yeah. <laughs> mother, I beg you. Uh, no, uh, ah, now. celebrate. <laughs> celebrate, Abby. To a long life. Oh, see, see, person. You don't start to drink. Oh. Uh, are you? If you, you as you said, you don't find out that you will make for inside my, my brain. Where did your brain? <laughs> Look you. Yeah. Now for you, you self. Hmm? Just so they chop the biscuit as you say never chop since money. Where did they do this one, self? Now, now, now. Now, who be dead now? This is my zombie. Now, madam. What's going on here? Hey, okay, madam, we'll see how we enjoy our life now. It'll make it very day. It is today that your birthday, and the very small time now we'll begin to sing Happy Birthday to your birthday again. Hey. Okay. Well, thank you. Hey. Hey, oh, 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 Dana. I don't know what the thing where they do, madam. Mr. Fatoyo. The thing is just confusing me inside my brain. Me, I don't know. Eh? I don't know. You see, they make her vex. Now, now, wow. I hope she will never offend her, sir. I don't know. Hey, but, hey, hold on now. You see, you don't think it's a bit to cook well, well. Hmm? Any man wait, go deep, he go deep in wife for inside the house. Go stay to determine for a man to come to sleep with you. Huh? What the fuck, sir? You come marry you put for a house for forever. Mm. Oh, yes. James. Eh? Shabby, you do okay. Uh, now, what do you do now? But you know, say, uh, me and you. <laughs> we know they're the same lane. Uh, they've they, they, they that him. Oh. See, eh? The very first day like this, where you go sleep inside my bedroom. Mm. Eh? That day, you go there convinced of for inside your brain. Oh. You go there that man part man. Eh? Yeah. Now that day, you go know that my devil and your devil will not be the same at all. You know, say I they talk on other thing. You, you did they talk on other thing. What did A get to do with B? Okay, now, now what did you talk about now? Shabby, you know, say we know they the same line. Abby, Abby, cook, you be get man. I want to take up our family now. They go to the next level. Abby, you say, think calm now. I don't think I'm, but you know that today and tomorrow will not be the same thing at all. I feel to be president of free this Nigeria tomorrow. Hmm. I don't know now. Now uh, what? Please. 
Adama! Adama! What the hell is this? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I did it because uh, uh, your mom does it every year. So I did it, I just wanted to make you happy. Did I tell you I wanted to continue with the annual routine on my birthday? Mm -mm. Why do you choose to rob the death of my parents in my face? Hey, madam, not be so now. Eh? We just want to make you day happy. Make you day happy for your birthday. Everything. Make you don't miss the days of Mama, the your days of Papa. Oh, By the die. time I opened my eyes, you would have cleared this rubbish from here and get the hell out of my room. You mean I should get out of your house too? Calm down, Natasha. Everything is going to be alright. I understand, <laughs> Natasha. But crying on your birthday is not cool. How do you expect me to be okay? Huh? How do you expect me to be okay when every year I look forward to celebrating my birthday because my parents have a way of springing up birthday gifts? Where are they now? Tell me, where are they? Natasha, I understand. I understand how you feel, but you have to quit the blame game. Maybe if I had been more prayerful. Maybe if I had gone to the hospital earlier. Maybe if the security system in this country was more effective, my parents would have been alive by now. Please stop, Natasha. Stop the blame game. You're only hurting yourself. Today is your birthday and you need to be happy. Happy? Did I hear you just say happy? My parents look forward to celebrating my 30th birthday with me. Do you know what it feels like to be alone without parents with whom you share strong emotional attachments in existence? Do you? Look, I understand, Natasha. How you feel? I can't forget a scenery of that day. That unfortunate day when I walked in on them laying in a pool of their own blood after the arm robbery attack. I can't get the pain on their faces from out of my memory. I understand how you feel because sometimes we don't have control over how we feel. We all know how your parents dote and showered love and affection towards you. I mean, you're their only child. Do you think they'll be happy seeing you go through this? Natasha, I heard you screaming at your domestic staffs. Who only wanted to put a smile on your face on your birthday? I'm ashamed of what grief has turned me into. For me, I really want to get past all of this. I swear I do, but I can't. Natasha, you can if you want to. I mean, only you have the power to change how you feel. You can pass through this, this, this morning clock of yours and be the happy person you want to be. Would you want to? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. I can hear you. Yes. Say it like you mean it, Natasha. Come on. <laughs> yes, I am. Say it like you mean it. Yes, 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 I am. Hmm. Somebody is ready to clap tonight. <laughs> you know what, sometimes I, I think you're, you're in the wrong profession. You know, I think you you would have been a better counselor than a surgeon. Hmm. Yeah. Is that a compliment or a recommendation? It so is. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, let's go change into some hard gowns. Oh. Somebody is going to clap today. <laughs> okay. Stand up, go. <laughs> Thank you.
Hello, Paul. Where do we hook up? I am all set to pay town red. <laughs> so, what do we do now? It has to be our complete squad outing. So, where do we meet? Hello. Hi. Can I speak with you? Natasha. I'm coming. Natasha. Nice to meet you. 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 Come your way, you just become a shadow of your own self. Mm. So that's well, exactly what I'm going. So, are you saying I was wrong about my opinion about you? Well, I'm not saying anything. So, what are you saying? I'm, I'm not, not saying, saying anything. anything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. I made a bet to just see me for a day. My boy, okay. for 200 pounds. 200 pounds? Yeah. That I can get you to the city. Right. So if I don't dance with you, you lose. I lose, so. Well, I'm a nice person, so why not? I do a charity. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> Mom, you and your surprise visits. <laughs> what if I was out of town or something? Am I not welcome in my son's house anytime I choose to come? How about mom? Do you know if you have an exclusive access to my house? Any day, in any time. All right, son. <laughs> you are now a big girl. The rate at which you grew is quite amazing. You look so pretty just when you are a little girl. How is your mom? Can I get you anything to drink? You see what I've been talking about? What are you talking about, mom? I expect that when I come to your house, your wife and children will come and greet me at the door. But there is none. Kunle, you are not getting any longer. And that is why I have come. There is no wife in this house, and we must get one. Mom, stop embarrassing me now in the presence of Ogechi. I'm trying to dance into your tunes, ma'am. Tunes? Oh, sorry. Who is Ma'am, we'll talk about it later. I asked. Who is she? You have not introduced her to me. Ma'am. She's my girlfriend. Girlfriend, colleague. I thought you said we are getting engaged soon. Yes. Sleep of time now. She's my fiance, Jane. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my daughter. How are you? Fine. Mm. Fine. 
My son has found the bone of his bone, the flesh of his flesh, and the root of his root. Father, may your name be praised. Kule! <laughs> Ah, my joy knows no bound. Anything you prepare will be fine. Okay, love. Um, and you? <sighs> Anything is fine. Okay, okay. I'll be right. Alright. <laughs> mom. <laughs> <laughs> in front of your mom. I can see love in the air. Shugu. <laughs> baby, baby, why you, why at the door? Is there a problem? No, no, there's no problem. Can we go for a stroll or something? I oh, know, I'm just coming in, baby. The sun outside is scorching hot. Let's <laughs> just go in. Baby, what is wrong with you? Let's, let's go in. Oh, come on. Let's just... <laughs> baby, let's... Oh my god, you tell me! Oh my good afternoon, ma. Oh, good afternoon, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Mama. I've heard a lot about you from Kunli. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice and to meet you. Are? Um, mm -hmm. Mom, meet Sandra. <laughs> she is my fiancé. <laughs> Another fiancé? Fiancé, Kunli. Are you out of your mind? Babe, it's not what you think. Baby! Kundi, what is going on here? I need an explanation right now! What is going on here? Oh, I saw her picture on your phone, Kunle. You told me she was nothing but just a friend! Kunle, you made me feel like you're heaven and earth. Heaven and earth indeed. Are you mocking me? And if I do what you do, I will do what we do. I do what I do. You are madness. You are holding me because of this thing. Because of this thing. You started the madness the same day you decided to cheat on me. Kunle, how could you do this to me? How could you, Kunle? I thought we shared something special. But obviously. I was totally wrong. My God will judge you, Kunle. Just get out. Get out. <sighs> Come on, wake up, you sleepyhead. Oh, damn, you just ruined a beautiful dream. Really? Well, why wouldn't you have a beautiful dream when you were all lovey-dovey last night? Wait, what? Please just stop it, okay? Do not give me that forgetful look. I mean, you were all over the block last night. That? Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, I hope I didn't do anything stupid. Oh gosh, I can't remember anything. My head hurts so badly. <laughs> Please, look. And as much as I would love to give you all the details, I am late for work. I need to run home and prep up. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on now. You always have a way of keeping me in suspense. Don't do that. Well, let that be my own little secret, okay? <laughs> See you, babes! Yeah, whatever. Get out of here. I'm on my way. A long story. Oh. Kule, what happened, bro? You got me extremely worried. What's going on? Guys. I faced the greatest embarrassment of my life this morning. Uh, come on, that's not possible. Do you remember? I made an arrangement yesterday. Yeah. yeah. 
to pick up Jane after the club. Yeah, you said you wanted to pass the night in your place. Okay. As usual, we, we came home and we had a fun film night. Call it the light of the magic. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, I'm listening. So now, where is the embarrassment in that? Only for my mom knock at the door this morning to wake us up. Your mom? My mom. Wow. Now that's interesting. Waiting to up. She came in with her best friend's daughter. Now, oh, so I introduced her to Jane as my fiance, so she knows I'm working towards settling down. While Jane was in the kitchen making food for my mom. Waiting for up. Remember my Sandra chick? Sandra, Sandra. The one that just at you about how my cross her bed game, okay, huh? Okay, yeah, 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 remember. She came in and announced. Damn, bro. That's not good. But come on, Kule, you're a sharp guy now. You're a sharp guy. Should have stopped her at the door, knowing very well that Jane was in the kitchen. Guys, I tried my best. But she seems like I was hiding something away from her. Now only she entered. Come introduce herself to my mom. While I was introducing her to my mom, as my fiancé, Jane got out of the kitchen and everything just got mercy. Oh, man. They were practically pulling each other's hair until Sandra walked out in annoyance. I have to let Jane out too. Yeah. Now I understand how embarrassed that scenario would be. You need to see how embarrassed I felt in the presence of my mother and the little girl that she brought with her. Guys, guys, you know I keep saying this. We can't be perfect with the games we play with these women. We can't be that perfect. So, Kunle, what do you plan to do now? No, that's not the question. The question is, who do you want to choose among the both of them? <laughs> you say choose. <laughs> choose. Yeah. <laughs> I am done with the both of them. I need a fresh baby in my life, right? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> There's no more stews. No more stews. No more stews. No more. No more. <laughs> you are the same person that keeps singing praises for these two women. Look, I suggest. You just pick one of them and settle down with her. No, I think I agree with Kenneth there. How long do you want to continue to do this? For how long? Guys, I agree with both of you. It's just like, ever since I met this girl yesterday in the club, huh? I haven't been myself since. There's something about that girl that reached the deep core of my being. <laughs> Kunle. 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 You just met this lady. Guys, I know, but I have a deep feelings from her. Well, you know what? It takes two to tango, so I feel you, you follow your heart. Have you tried reaching her? I've been calling her line since the all unfortunate drama happened, but I can't seem to get to get through. Then have you tried that again? No. Come on, try again. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello. Sunshine? Sunshine? Who is this, please? You can't remember my voice? Can you please introduce yourself before I cut the call? It's me, Kunle. Kunle who? I just spilled wine on my shirt, remember? I'm afraid you dialed the wrong number. Yo, what's up with her? We kissed yesterday. If not for a friend interrupting, she would end up in my bed yesterday. Kunle, yo. You need to calm down. You know what? Ladies of nowadays. Look, Kule, you should be grateful she didn't end up in your bed last night. If not, she would have been in the middle of all this drama right now. <laughs> and that would be so messy. <laughs> yeah, man. I agree. At all the same, mm -hmm. I'm still going to keep my tabs on her until she becomes mine. Hmm. You know, I got you to go. <laughs> <laughs> We got your back, brother. All the best. <laughs> All the best. All the best. Man. We got your back. We got Thank your back. You. Thank you. But I, I can't place it. I've been calling you several weeks since that day. But you keep on telling me that I was calling the wrong number. This business guy, 
the gig or something for yourself. I give you my card. I'm still trying to remember what I know you from. It's surprising considering the chemistry we share. I'm still trying to remember whether or not we met at the club. <laughs> Maybe a repetition of what we shared that night. From a social memory. Chemistry? What chemistry are you talking about? Oh my gosh! How, how dare you! <laughs> From this plain evidence in your eyes, I do believe the memory of a hard kiss at the club has been fresh. Are you stupid or something? How dare you! You have no respect for womanhood. How dare you try to force your mouth down my throat? I must confess that you feel prettier when you smile. Oh, God. For me, I've been meaning to ask you about what transpired between me and that guy the other night at the club. I intend to keep it a secret for as long as I want. Seriously, I'm not interested in all these reflections, okay? The guy literally called me like 50 times a day and I had to block him from calling me. Come on. I mean, he's obviously interested in you. That's why he is calling consistently. And he likes me. What kind of life is that? He drove down my office and tried to shove his mouth down my throat. Are you kidding me? I'm serious. Okay, um... He was going on and on and on about the passion we shared at the club and all of that. You know, I'm, I'm, I'll report him more. I'll report him to the police. Police? Police bow. How about Natasha? Come on. Do you want to hear the truth about what happened last night? Of course I want to hear the truth and nothing but the truth. Because everything that happened that night seems to have been deleted off of my memory. Okay. So I went to pick the call. That was from the office anyway. So by the time I came back, before I could say Jack Robinson, you were to kissing. Wait, what? How possible? Seriously. <laughs> before I go back, you were all over each other. Are you serious? So you mean all of that happened because of that drink I took? So why didn't you stop me? It's not funny, I just find it extraordinary. Come on, obviously he's interested in you. Madam. Okay. Good morning, Kunli. Good morning, Sandra. Baby, can we talk? Uh, baby, I was hoping we could talk. I've been calling you several. You've not been picking up. Why? The work these days are killing me. Busy. And you didn't deem it fit to call me back. Sandra, I said I've been busy. Kunli, what exactly did I do wrong? Why well, have you turned into a stranger? Maybe I, I, I thought we had something special. I thought we're headed to the altar already. Why? Woman, you've done nothing wrong. You are a good woman who loves from the bottom of her heart. Then why are you acting strange? Baby, why are you acting like I'm some sort of virus you're fleeing from? Why? You still don't get it, do you? No, I don't. Because every night I lay on my bed, I'm haunted by the sweet memories we shared. And then I ask myself, where? Things between us fall apart, Kunle. Sandra, in as much as I admit that you are a good woman who loves from the bottom of her heart, I can't but let you know the truth about my feelings. What truth, Kunle? I need to know. Perhaps it will give me closure over this confusion I have in my head, baby. Sandra, I am not in love with you. Okay? You love me more than I love you. And I'm not comfortable with it. Baby, come look at me. Look at me. Just look at me, Kunle. My love is enough for the both of us, baby. Stop. I don't mind loving you more, Stop baby. Stop it, Sandra. Stop it. It's no, not going to work. Don't do this, Kunle. Can't you see it? I don't mind loving you. My Stop it, Sandra. Kunle. Can't you see it's Kunle. not going to work? 
the tears on your face won't stop anything. A broken relationship is better than broken marriage. I have to be on my way now. I have a business to attend to. Stop, Sandra. They have built my world around you, Kunde. Please. Kunde, I've, I've invested so much in this relationship. Baby, please. Please, I beg you, Kunde. I beg you. Baby, look at me. Don't do this to me, Kunde. Baby, look at me. Look at me. It's me, Sandra. It's me. It's me, baby. My mother, my mother. Are you sure you didn't do anything wrong? It's quite unusual of him to act that way. You, you know what? There's these old things that say there are two sides to every story. I've listened to your version of the story. You're going to give me time to arrange a meeting with Kunle so as to know why he has not been picking your calls. So from there, we know the next line of action, okay? Yeah, relax your mind, okay? Kunle speaks highly of you. So I'm sure things will work out between you two, okay? Is this guy blind or something? Can he read the writings on the wall? I don't want to have anything to do with him. Ugh. Uh, first of all, I'm not your angel, okay? And you have no business asking how my day went. Well, keep your care to yourself. Can't you read the writings on the wall? I am not interested in you, okay? I can and will never have anything to do with you. Get that into your thick skull. Oh, gosh. You know what? Let me just turn this one off. This madam, now so they could just do there, enjoy themselves. God, help me now. Now, which time I go leave this kind life? I can enjoy while it's last. So <laughs> Jesus! Uh, then now, I, I, I don't say they're helping you too much. Eh? Hi. If madam don't go up, you go up. It's just they turn yourself to be like in so called madam for inside this house. Oh, God, James. Eh? What is your problem? I, now, now you be my problem now. I don't think your problem. You see, you suppose you can be and you like this, you go there. You enjoy ourselves for our, our inside this house. And by this time, we are only there. It's you not know, good to make a fine girl like you, they do things with your body. Oga James. Hmm? Shebi, you don't be mad. Hey, now you make me mad now. Oga James. Uh -huh. Shebi, you know, say this place no be your gate post. And I want to now just want to tell you, you hear me. Do. You don't hear me so. I beg. I did my tea, they enjoy myself. You don't hear me so. I bet you before I close my eyes, now, Baba God, name I tell you, beg you. If I close my eyes, open my eyes, may you clear, may you vanish, enter your gate post, I beg. They have me so I'll pour you out of time if you don't come up for you. I don't care you. You know what you're going to tell, yeah? Eh. Yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to tell you. But you know what you're going to tell me? Yeah, okay, okay. Wait for me. Nonsense. You useless, useless, stu stu stupid man. Waka, wait for me at the call. Ah, wait, don't do it. Yes, man. Nonsense. Eh? You can wait now, eh? Are you mad? 
decorate your body with this for foolish woman. Foolish woman. Eh? Useless foolish woman. They get money brought this in a stage for you. For me? Mm-hmm. You have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. Why would you do anything? Why would you do anything? All I ask is 10 minutes of your time. I've been restless since the day we first met. Kunle. <laughs> Wait, why are you laughing? I'm sorry. I just feel like the sender is a very good Oh, really? You know, maybe I should give you his contact so you can tell him exactly how you feel. I'm sorry. Take this and do whatever you want with it. And tell Musa that the next time he receives anything like this from the person who brought this, he should consider himself jobless. Take this away. Yes. Share with me this expensive gift. Good evening, Clara. What are you doing here? Is it not a crime for me to check up on my daughter and her mother? Look here, Kenneth. Cut the crap and tell me exactly why you're here. I'm being serious. Look, I bought her some things, okay? And I feel like to deliver it in person. Well, Sophia and I are doing just fine without you. I don't want you coming around here and raising her hope and then Disappearing into thin air like you did in time pass? Look, that was then, okay? I'm a changed person now. Such thing can happen again. You can say that to my shadow. Hmm? Kenneth, now tell me in an early age. You denied the pregnancy. You, you never took responsibility of I and the baby. Thank God for my parents who forgave me and stood by me. What would I have done? You know very well that I thought all this was a lie. The mm -hmm. pregnancy and all, I, I thought it was a scam. Okay? Look, the moment I realized the truth, you know I came back. I did for both of you. Yes, you did come back. Five years later, hmm? you came back and I introduced you to her as her father. But then what happened? What happened next, Kenneth? You disappeared into thin air. You broke her heart. It took me months to bring her out of the misery that, that you, her father, put her through. Look, I can't go back that lane again. Just, please. Clara, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. I know I've been so irresponsible in the past. I feel ashamed of myself. Believe me, I do. But I'm fine now. I'm back to my senses. And all I want to do is being the life of my daughter, okay? And just give me one chance. Just one more chance to make things right. Please, Clara. Kenneth, get out of here. I don't want you in my life. I don't want you in my daughter's life. Huh? Just go, you womanizing son of a nobody. Please. Clara, you please, I'm, you know I mean no harm. 
Clara, Clara! Hello, who's on the line? Oh, hi. How are you? Wonderful, thank you. I'm so sorry. My shadow is quite hectic now. How about I call you during the weekend and then we can go. Thank you so much for calling. Bye. Mama, deep beside you. What did they saw? Now ought you because one the time why they hear your voice for that phone, I don't like her at all. Tell me what they saw. Mama, the para. Sugar, he's my fiance. Yeah. But all of a sudden, he broke up our relationship without any tangible reasons. I want you to deal with him. I want you to teach him a lesson that he will never ever forget for the rest of his life. This guy don't care problem for my life. Sexy mama like this, he can't even fuck up with. Mama, what you want me to do? Just give me, just give me all that. I'm not doing anything. I'm not What's going happen? I am yet to get over the shock of the fact that our relationship has ended. But you know what? What, Mama? He just messed up with the wrong person. Hmm. Worry, babe, no, the carry last. I trust you. You know what? I'm going to forward his pictures and address to you. But please. Make sure you do a very clean job. Oh, Mama. You know, saying that this kind of I love for my life. I go do and clean and clear. Alive. This job, in Papa said, go fill up for house. Yo, what is wrong with you? Huh? Take your bike out of my way, man. <laughs> Go this side. Come No, no, Please. Fine boy. Now they break my heart. Each time I be. I never broke the heart of any woman in my life. I what? Said. Okay, you just say you be full of happy. We resemble me move on your face, happy. I go beat your fuck up this night. Go <laughs> not say woman. Then the wetsy. Then the egg. Please, please, please. Don't hurt me. I will give you anything you want. Do not hurt me. Wait, you talk. Go go punish your papa. We resemble the person we never show for your face, happy. Fuck please, you. please, 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 don't hurt me. Should that, should that wait, 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 wait. Don't forget to say this day where we did. Now facility where I don't deal. I'll give you, I'll give you, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'll give it to you. Natasha, Natasha. Um, how have you been? Good. What happened to your head? I was attacked from some hoodlums on my way back from the office. Well, I'm sorry. I hope you went to the hospital for that. Why is your friend make me feel like I am some sort of unwanted dirty pig? What have I done to deserve this deep hatred from her? Look, she's a wonderful person and has a good heart, okay? But she needs time, you know, to open up at her own will. Please, tell her I am crazy about her. I want a serious relationship with her. Please, help me appeal to her to give me just five minutes of her time so I can tell her exactly how I feel about her. Please. All right, Pule. 
I'll talk to her for you. All right? Thank you for everything. Make sure you take care of your head. All right, let me go. She's waiting for me. I don't know why you continue to give that guy audience. Can't you see he looks like a player? He looks like a player. But you don't know if he's one. Well, my first approach with him was pretty messed up. He literally tried to force his mouth down my throat. Seriously? Do you expect me to chase him down the street or Google his address just to find that out? Are you serious? Whose side are you on? Of course I'm on your side. But I'm sorry, I think you, 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 you're scaring every man that comes your way. You can see if he's a playboy or not. I hope the surprise you told me about over the phone is real. Yes, it's real. So can you tell me already? Because you know I hate suspense. What is it? to celebrate. I mean, this calls for celebration. We have to celebrate. We are going to our favorite spot. Definitely. You know, I'm actually done with work, so let me just like, um, bookie! I just wished we were traveling together. I know, but I have so much to do at the office. And remember, this is our peak season, so there's too much to do. Plus, you need all the time you can have with your fiancé's parents. But don't worry, I promise to video chat you all through so that you will know every details and all that is going on with me. Okay. For me, you've been... You've been like the sister I never had. You've been with me all the way, regardless of my shortcomings. Thank you. Don't make us cry. No, seriously. I mean, it's, you're allowed to cry. But on the real, I'm serious. Your friendship means so much to me. I don't think I would have survived my parents' death without you. Thank you. It's OK. And thank you, too. Because you've been the catalyst of my personal and financial growth. I don't know what I would have done when my parents 
went broke, I really appreciate it. And yes, I do have a request. Okay. Hmm. But promise me you're going to say yes. Well, first of all, can I hear the request and then I'll see whether or not I would grant it. Say yes first. <laughs> okay, I promise. What is it? You know I'll be away for a while. A very long time, in fact. And I know that you're going to miss me being around, annoying you, mm -hmm. and all that. That's why I ask that you give Kule a chance. Listen to him. I mean, life is beautiful to be in solitary. Okay. You know, the funny thing is, I was actually pondering over Kune's case this morning, and um, I've decided to listen to him. Yes, but don't be too excited. It's not like I'm going to be dancing to his tune. I just feel like I've been too hard on him, so just listen to him. Okay, still. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, you know, I can tell. You just might fall in love, and I think both of you, combination. Ah. Okay, you know what? We only have a few moments, so can we talk about ourselves other than you soliciting for Kunle, okay? All right. So now let me tell you what I want. Okay. I want you to bring me. So, you know the vanilla... What exactly can I do to have your attention? Why are you treating me like I'm some sort of virus or something? I'm talking to you, Natasha. Natasha, I'm talking to you. Okay. <laughs> now that you have my attention, what exactly can I do for you? I like you. I like you so much. I have not been myself since the day I set my eyes on you. I really want to be close to you. That's all? Babe, I'm not into you to play games. My intentions are pure and honest. Okay. Like, so, um, <laughs> what exactly do you want me to do about that? I want us to be friends. That's all? Yes. Okay. Like, you are cool with us being friends? Yes, Kunle. I am. No, it's not like that. No. Um, well, my friendship with you comes with three rules, okay? First of all, I don't want you to ever try to kiss me like you did at the parking lot. And second of all, don't do that again. You almost ran me over. Well, and third... Like I said, I agree with the first two. What is the third? Let's just say we'll figure it out as we go along, okay? Okay. Let's say we start on a fresh note. Okay. I am Kunle Richards, a businessman. I'm fun to be around, and thank you so much for the opportunity. I'm Natasha. I'm a project consultant. I work with an oil and gas firm. Sometimes I come across as cold and hard-hearted, mm -hmm. but I'm a very tender person. Thank you. It's nice meeting you. Very nice to meet you too, Kunle. <laughs> and you have a good day. Likewise. Hey girl, I'm good, he's good. Are you serious? Well, he actually wanted me to spend the night with him the other day, but I refused. And what did he say? He said he didn't want to ruin what we shared and that he was gonna wait till I was ready. Wow, some people will not subscribe to that, you know. 
I know. I guess I'm the lucky one. Aww. I'm really missing you and missing all the romantic details with you and not Donald. I cannot wait to come to Nigeria, I swear. Uh, you only have three days to get here, okay? But it feels like three months. That's true. Well, the gist is running away. So when you come back, I will give you all the details you need. Yay, I can't wait. I cannot wait, seriously. So how are you and Mike? How's his parents? How's he? How's everything? Oh, my sweetheart, he's fine. I'm telling you his parents, they are the best in-laws. They treat me like an egg, I swear to God. You won't believe that even his dad tells funny stories during dinner. My mother-in-law is the most generous and wonderful woman. Oh, I'm so happy for you. You are next in Jesus' name. Amen, Pastor Fumi. <laughs> Listen, don't forget my scented oils, okay? And those sexy lingerie I requested for, okay? You never know, I just might wear it for him. <laughs> oh no, I wouldn't. Okay, dear. Bye. All right, then you have a good one. Bye. Wow, congratulations, son. Thank you so much for heeding to my advice. You made my day. Hmm? You're welcome to my family. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Please, Natasha, give me a second chance. I know a lot of you will blame me for getting back with Kunli, but I can't help it. I cannot keep judging him for the mistakes he made before I met him. I mean, I know it's hard for a woman to live with the fact that her man has children from another woman. But then again, I have decided to accept him for who he is. I love him with the whole of my heart. You will forever be my one and only queen. And together, we shall live happily. Dave? You know me inside out. You know my strength and my weakness. Will you still reconsider accepting my engagement proposal? Only on one condition. What is it, babe? I want you to promise me that you will not have anything romantically involved with any of your baby mamas. I promise to be faithful to you and only you, Natasha. Well then, I will marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for making me a complete man. Thank <laughs> you.